Friends, welcome to another episode of Auto Afflicted. This is part four of the turbo install. We got the turbo in, all that stuff. Now it's time to get the exhaust going. We got a box full of JMD goodness, stainless steel pipes. Alex here is gonna weld it up. That's what he does. And we're gonna get into it right now. Right, so like I was saying, episode four, episode one was all the parts. It's linked in the description. I've got links to all the parts that we put on and are putting on this car. Episode two details putting the intercooler into the bumper. You can go check that out. Episode three is uh, when we installed the turbo and started that up. That's definitely something to catch. And now, here we are. We got... Uh, bags full of pie cuts stainless steel of course i got you know this is like jmd um jmdtubes.com they make really great stuff they ship quick um it's quality i kind of love it um but this is kind of like i don't know jdm muffler so we're gonna have to hide it you know this is a Benz. We're not trying to get all crazy bazooko style or whatever. Um, but anyway, we got the goods here. I got my man Alex. He's a wizard with the welding stuff. He's going to put all the sweet butter welds down. And uh, let's go. All right, so plate is tacked to the downpipe. And then I'll just cruise around in different spots, watch my heat. It's a little tricky because the thickness of this plate compared to thickness of tube. All right, it's welded. What a battle. Why was it so rough? Talk all the crap you want. Because we got a quarter inch plate of who knows what <laughs> to some stainless down tube who knows what maybe it's stainless hopefully it is but man so yeah if you know anything about welding you look at that it's stainless it's a bit sugared and that's because the amount of heat to weld this to get it to bond with this that's the way it is turbo down pipe mounting plate that's where we got so far from here. We'll do a V-band, turn it out, V-band, exhaust the rest of the way. All right, so exhaust begins at the downpipe. She's pointed directly down. So first thing will be 90. And if we come down here, you can see where she's pointed there towards the ground. So we'll go 90 and then we have this factory kind of hanger, super hard mount and we'll run the tube to there and then from there just kind of follow the factory path of where the exhaust ran there's like a cutout under here you want to keep it tucked up nice and high no dragging no rubbing and what do you got going on there so just cutting off a bit of this to line up with that bracket under the car we gotta account for the amount of drop in this 90. So we don't want it sitting too low. So cut up here. Pie cut goes on side this way. This is just for this is just for fit purposes. Ignore this alumai steel. But anyways. So we got pie cut in 90, down tubes bent or cut. <clears throat> and so there's the hanger. 
So we meet it up here and there, and then the exhaust begins. And then somewhere along here, we'll V-band so you can disconnect and still pull out the downpipe and service whatever if it's in the way. Downpipe to the first 90, we've got all marked and cut up. Um, and now we've got Blake here with the ESOB and a TIG switch, like switch on torch instead of the pedal, just faster. Quick zip up the tack and keep moving. Final check, and then we'll fully weld. JMD makes some super nice V bands, and that's where we'll hook down pipe and then begin the exhaust just so you can disconnect and get stuff done still. But so from the pie cut down here, we'll do a straight V band and then another straight where the kind of beginning of the exhaust will rest on here so you can unclip and that thing will just drop on you. And uh, yeah, and just follow heat shield to the tail. Oh God. Easy. Easy. We're back. We're tacked up. V-band in position. One last dry fit, and then I'm gonna burn all this together. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> so we're flanged up, and this is one unit that can hook and unhook from like the complete exhaust if you wanna take this out to get to something kind of behind the turbo next to the manifold and that in that zone. Now we weld. <laughs> oh shit, it's not on. <laughs> flange, V-band flange, fully welded. And uh, yeah, now we really start building exhaust from here. Now we're on exhaust end. This goes. Up and over. Worth every penny. JMD V band. Yeah. Plus, you don't want to spend all this time building something and then something happens. You got to take stuff out and it's just in for life. Then you're cutting stuff and then redoing stuff. So, yeah, straight 45, 45. And I'll probably build as much of this exhaust as I can just because I'm going to be walking back and forth, taking stuff in and out, triple checking, dry fitting. Always start dry. What? <laughs> All right, so next thing is a straight run I want to cut to set off the exhaust. So I'm just kind of measuring to inside of the flange too consider that here yeah. okay that's the start of our exhaust so exhaust and flange to the v-band is up and then yeah we gotta start turning through the underside there we go dude so next move is v ends so i'm just kind of indexing where the pipe's gonna line up when i walk out of here and go weld it away from the car all right so Basically, we got our tape tacks to give us some accurate eyeballing. And we're just trying to see if we can get this done with what we have left. Kind of like fake building out the pipe. It looks like it's coming right at this spot that we needed to go to. Ooh. So we've got this length of exhaust on here. We're just going to mark the O2 sensor bung. 
and then drill a hole and tack that in. Putting the bung hole in now is crucial for the O2 sensor. Switching over to the tree. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas tree bit. Marked it. <laughs> now I just go hard. Exhaust is coming together. We're like basically to the rear diff, fully welded and bunged up O2 sensor up here. And downpipe meets here. Man. And it cruises on through. And that's hot still, so don't touch that. Put the uh, hanger on. You said hanger. hanger. Yeah, that's the next thing. Start hanging the exhaust. All right, so so this factory hanger up here that kind of cradles it right behind the V-band that ended up working. Kind of just had to pop it out, clean the holes up so it was like more room for give so we could kind of just drop it down a little more for the bigger pipe. Bungs welded wires on the o2 sensor we're ready to splice in to the factory ones that drop down here and then yeah we're hung on the factory one back there and that's it i don't know dude what else next is the muffler and the tips yeah next is muffler and tips yeah so uh Throwing some muff on here. We got Blake under the contorting welder. I don't mess with any of this, dude. I call him Blake. He's the guy when it gets to a sticky situation. But he's anyways. Uh, we'll show you when he's done welding, but a couple more pieces. Just the tip. That's definitely gonna be long enough. Here, really quick. Just before you cut it. This if this is right here and flush. Yeah. We don't even need two, dude. Yeah, man. No, like, no, this man. is long enough. <laughs> I don't think we need, oh, it's hot. I don't think we need two. It's, it's, some, it's enough. I think it's some I think it's from it is the most <laughs> solid hanger I've ever seen in my entire life. Sometimes you gotta take it to the junkyard. And sometimes the junkyard's on the side of your house. <laughs> <laughs> and use that just to hang it over top if we need to. Yeah, yeah. so you go like here. You go like right here and cut those short. That was just two. Oh, that's hot. And then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We'll Every time. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, dude. You work with it all the time. You get too comfy. Sawzall. Yes. <laughs> Whoa! <dude. laughs> Whoa! It's like a grenade. Here, get, here, get this right here. I'm going in. <laughs> so you. That's not the good shit? No, well, that's not the, that's not the brushless. <laughs> that's not the good stuff. Hey, maybe we could get a Milwaukee sponsorship and they could send be. us shit that actually works. I guess I'm not going to buy you a Milwaukee hat at Home Depot then. No. <laughs> <laughs> Rep broken shit. So fast forward many hours, got the tips and the exhaust all connected. It had actually gotten kind of dark and cold while we were working outside at Alex's house. And so now here we are at Area 69 for the big reveal. I'm sure you're thinking like, why didn't you go to Area 69 in the first place and do this all in the warmth? Well, eh, there's something to be said for uh, location and I don't know, Alex's house. It's a good place to dip into when it's warm. Sure, it's cold outside, but anyway, let's get this thing up in the air and I'll show you all exactly how the tip and the muffler ended up and we'll look at the whole exhaust all the way out. So this is what went down after dark, it was just this 
this S band section, which was kind of difficult. And then I don't know what it was about the tips, but they were pretty hard to uh, weld onto maybe the coating on the metal. Um, here you can see the hanger that they'd saws sawzalled off a previous exhaust setup. But so it all came together really nice. It's, um, I mean, as you can see, it's on there, solid as a rock. And the angle is just pretty awesome. It totally follows the lines of the rear bumper as it cuts up and I just couldn't really be happier with it. All right, so here you can see the full exhaust. Here's the, the start of the downpipe. So in the turbo, two and a half inch, stainless downpipe all the way through here to the v-band and then from the v-band there's the 45 section here just following the heat shields underneath and the factory o2 sensor right in place there and then it just goes back right by the diff there nice and clean factory pickup, factory hanger right there. And then the exhaust, situ the muffler situation. So made these guys work hard. As you can hear, it's not really too loud. It's got a good throaty sound to it. I'm gonna rev it up to about 3000 RPM here. You get a feel for what it sounds like on the pipe boost it definitely sounds that much better as you've heard the exhaust turned out amazing it's um, what would I call it it's very adult has a good sound to it it's not too loud in the cabin doesn't make the neighbors angry so that's exactly what I was looking for and has this great throwback style. So all in all, super happy. Shout out to Alex and Blake. They did all the dirty work, made it beautiful, uh, got my exhaust exactly how I wanted it, battled with the tips, made it happen. So really, I can't say enough. Um, big thanks to those guys. And also to jmdtubes.com. They have the amazing stainless product. They got regular, um, non-stainless. They got whatever you need for your exhaust or turbo intake setups. And that's a wrap for episode four. We've got um, episode five coming up, which is either going to be on the dyno or it's going to be about putting the boost gauges and the air fuel mixture and all that in this car. Um, important stuff, you know, got to have tools for diagnostics, gauges. Um, so as ever, thank you all for stopping by, checking it out. If you enjoyed the video, you like the channel, please think about subscribing and hit the notifications. That helps a lot with seeing the videos early and, you know, be kind to your neighbors, love the ones you're with, and we'll catch you on the next one.